Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Salt and Sanctuary. This is the 21st episode. It's been a while since I've had an LP go this long. So I learned that... Oh. I just remembered I forgot to do something. Uh, I learned that I can just drop off the side there. So I'm going to go back to... Zig. Because there's a stone... Uh, keeper or whatever there. And I've got these. So I learned that this actually comes back. As does this. And then, um, I don't know. Because I have a good weapon buff. It's a lightning. This is lightning. But yeah, I maxed out uh, that covenant. Um, it would be kind of interesting if this meant that I could join another covenant without, like, screwing over my save file. Because, like, I would love to just keep gaining power, you know? All right. That's a stamina buff, I think. So, I tried a couple of um, strategies against the Witch. I have improved my arcane defense. But that comes at the cost of my health. As well as my damage and strength. I do like staying in on her. Um, I actually really like this fight as well. Oh my god, am I just gonna do it? <laughs> Those multiple episodes. A little bit more damage really helped out, I guess. So that means that I can take this off and put on whatever I had before. Uh, focus usage, I think. Awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, let's sit down and top off, shall we? Hey, guys, what's going on? So I leveled up a little bit. Um, and I have no salt items in my inventory anymore. Which means that I just got to take this boss salt and just run, you know? But I'm very happy with where I'm going. Um, so let's see if I... What should I think? What should I think? See, I don't know if this has scaling, so it might just be like cheap, generic, uh, like holy attack. So let's see what's past the witch then, huh? I love this area. What am I going to call this episode now? I don't really know if I want to name it after this area. Down, find, end. Salt Alkiromancy. Alkiomancery. Okay, so that chest is safe. So it looks like... Alkiomancery looks like a hybrid... The word, I mean. It looks like a hybridization of mansi, mansory, which is used as a generic term to mean, like, magic. But I think it actually means telling of the future. Saltless. Oh, and they drop salt bundles as well. Hmm. Yeah, I'll come answer Hmm. 
Hmm. That's difficult. Yeah. Okay. Let me get my thing out. It looks like a hybridization of the phrase... Alchemy and Mancy. So I can stand here, no problem. Oh, but I do get tumbled around a bit. Okay. So, I should find out what those things are called, because I don't know if I trust that one bit. They'll be at the end, huh? Okay, Mother Merle are those things. The coveted and the coveting. So, so solace creature of flesh and rags, throw the architect Kyra, unmatched in salt. Oh, Kyromancy. Constructed a company of salt built creatures to guard her and guide and guard her and aid in her research. The saltless are desiring salt, forever unable to consume it. Kyra. Bola Eye. The architect created creatures as autonomous sentries to keep watch over her salt alchiromancy. Pardon me on my pronunciation of alchiromancy. I'm pretty sure I'm dyslexic. Bag and bundle of salt. So what did that do? Diamond cluster. Big fella. Oh, you got a lot of health, boyo. <laughs> okay. Still dropping 5k. That's good. So I got a second. Yeah, I have two of these now. What? It's like a doorway, but it doesn't lead anywhere. You are the dancing ring? Increase your defense to slash. That's useful. I like that. Oh, interesting. This is the safe way to get down. Get down tonight, babe. Just want to be sure, you know, be a little safe. <gasps> oh, okay. I see. Well, I've got about. No, I don't. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab the salt I need. All right, and we're back. I dropped off some stuff and I bought two cases of salt. I don't remember how much salt is in them. And that's something that should be fixed in every game. For those of you who watch other LPRs, uh, other niche LPRs, I guess. Uh, Plague of Gripes had the idea during his Dark Souls LP that every single soul item you get in Dark Souls should go to, like, a Liquid Souls or a Solid Souls. 
like bank and then anytime you need a little more you can just dip into it that way you're not constantly like having to google is this 200 or 400 souls is this a thousand is this more is this less oh this is new oh well I don't know how much this sanctuary is going to get used. Interesting. But anyway, yes, his idea was... To have a liquid souls like pool and anytime you use a soul item, it goes to that pool. Okay, so this will take me back up to the sanctuary. This puts me back next to the entrance. No, this is new. Boy, having a ranged attack to maybe close distance would help. God damn it. Frozen locket. And then that's the entrance, I'm pretty sure. Which I guess means that that chest wasn't safe. Sorry to deprive you of a funny LP moment. But yeah, like, you almost never know when, like, how much a soul item is worth. And, like, I guess some people might just know. That's not crazy. Peekaboo. Well, that ain't good. Hi, word up. What's up? What's going on? Hi. That, that guy surprised me. Good shield. Oh yes, let it be known. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I did try uh, shielding against uh, Witch Lady. Witch Lady? The Witch Lady. That's such a stupid fucking joke. I feel like I should apologize. God, I'm having to outrange a man with a spear. Not exactly my finest work. And boy, he's got a lot of health. I really don't want him to kill me. That's it? That's a, that's a pittance of souls. Astro Monolith. Hmm. Maybe it's not in here? It's kind of interesting that rings and talismans both go to the same area. Maybe it's a weapon? Master model, it is. The head of this exquisitely crafted battle axe was cut from a massive slab of star quartz and finally mirror polished by one of Mark Dor's master weaponsmiths. Star quartz, a rare piezoelectric crystal, oh, occurring in the continent's mountain strata, is prized for its exceptional hardness and the immense charges it generates when subjected to pressure and impacts. Piezoelectricity is a real thing. Uh... It means that it generates electricity when struck. It's 
Damn it. Okay. Saltless. Just got a stun gun headbutt them. Nice. Stone guide. Mm-hmm. Okay, so where are we heading next? Oh, three Lord's Orders? Word? And three Frozen Dolls. Those Frozen Dolls must be different items that are needed to upgrade in a weapon type that I'm not using. This isn't the Red Hall of Cages again, is it? Oh my god, everything links back to here. <laughs> that's that's crazy. Let's mend myself. Then have one of those. And then this should suck me off somewhere new, right? Was that a little bit of the Red Hall of Cages? Oh, I've been over here. Uh, I don't want to fight you. I just want to... Okay, I remember what's over there now. Loud and clear. Thank you, sir. Okay. The damage is good. I'm very happy with my damage output. Like, I guess I could be too swinging everything, but, like, that seems a little, uh, unlikely. I'll be with you in just a second, sir. That was so raw. I can't believe I've never done that before. I mean, I've done it a few times, but like when the pressure's on and I needed to. See, now now it's getting to my head. And there's a boss over here. Pardon me, sir. Something tells me it's going to be a bad idea to... Oh. Tainted Great Shield and Rents. What are you? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, crap. Right. My health. Saltfin creature. That thing's weird, dude. That is a weird monster. I'll tell you that for free. Crunch my bones. Yeah, I guess, like, the saltless always had a shitload of salt on them. So I guess it makes sense that they can put out a lot of salt. Bola eye nerves. Ugh. Gross. I see one of them. If I can't kill this one, then it'd be unlikely that I could kill the other one.
Okay. They're not impossible to kill. So I don't actually know fully what's up there. Another one of you. Tainted Gauntlet's Greaves and... Okay, the Tainted Set. So I already got the Tainted stuff off of that one thing. See you later, fool. So down here, that doesn't lead anywhere. Okay, so over here also does not lead... Oh, man. Oh, God. Please don't look at me. Do not look at me when I'm platforming. I'm at my weakest. Okay, I don't want to go that way yet. Or I think I might have already been that way, and I just... I know that I don't need it. Unless that is the right way. Damn it. Okay, yes. This is where I'm meant to be going. Pardon me? Damn it. That's okay. I probably wasn't going to kill him anyway. Like, a little more health probably wouldn't have made too much of a difference. He's uh, He's got a lot of gusto there. That's okay. Wait, how do I get down? Right... Okay. Pardon me, I I fella. And then let's see about this boss fellow, huh? Why take a chance? Let's just power ourselves up as hard as we can. The unsk Ugh. Gross. Oh, and there's someone with him. Yep. So what are we doing here? Is this Agni and Ruja? Is this going to be Ornstein and Smo? Oh, jeez. I see. So as not to deprive myself of the joy of figuring out how this boss is supposed to work, I will not Google it. But dual boss fights usually go one of two ways. Either you kill one and the second gets stronger, or you kill one. I'm getting my. I'm getting my. Look, I should just shut up. <laughs> wow. Literally a team hyper combo finish. That's the architect. Of course. That, <laughs> yeah, I guess it makes sense. That wasn't right. Now, I don't want to be, again, like, oh, kind of like this, but, like, this area is reminding me of uh, the Soul Sanctum, Soul Sanctuary, something like that, in a Hollowed Night. Little game you guys might have heard of. Will you get off of me, please? I don't care. Just kill me.
Ooh, saltless ashes. All right. Is there anyone that I can drag down here? Let's put a guy down because I've got spares. Uh, let's put a mage and a cleric in. I'll hold off on anyone else. Uh, and the only real reason that I wanted to have those guys in is because I wanted to... Um, so where does this one take me again? Right, over to here. So... Okay, cool. I can, I can go in with this damage. This is just chip damage. It's not a big deal. Man, there's a lot of guys with really high health bars in this area, too. Divine armor. Blessed weapon. Let's party. The unskin. Ugh. So interesting that that thing gets the intro and not the alchemist, who is a way more important character. Oh, and because the alchemist killed me, I need to kill her to get my, my goo back. Eat up, boyo. I am getting, I am getting comboed again. Eat. Crush, kill. Oh boy. I've almost got him down. Which could mean that the fight's gonna get easier, but it could also mean that it could could get harder. Damn it. <laughs> uh Yowza. All right, let's do one more. Guys, really? Just trying to get to the boss, fellas. Doesn't have to be hard. You know what I'm saying? All right. I love dashing into a fight. Just like, all right, let's go, guys. And she's got my souls again, probably because she has like really big damage. Let's top off. Huh, God. That was embarrassing. Again, this is a really, this is just a really big problem with, um, like, fights like this in general because like if you're just by yourself then you just have less damage outgoing and you have less attack power I guess it makes sense though I don't think we've seen a uh, duo boss fight let's do one more I only just hit 30 minutes I usually like to record for 30 
Let's go. Uns it's such a gross design. He must be in agony. You're sticking pretty close to the ground this time, huh? That's probably incredibly lucky for me. Okay, that's one down. Now this is just yet another fight with a big guy. Boy, I'm happy I did a uh, another attempt. He's not so bad, actually. I mean, he's obviously a hideous, piteous, horrible monster. But, like, in terms of his attacks, I feel like the main problem is his counterpart. Yeah, all right. Uh, cool. Architect's ear and the unskinned liver. Gross. Gross a Rooney. Uh, I have learned my lesson and I'm not taking any more chances, so let's just bell on back then, huh? <laughs> oh, I did it. I feel good. Two bosses this episode. I haven't had a I haven't had an episode like that in a while. It was like what, episode six or seven that was called Boss Russian? Uh wow, cool. Um I feel good. I've been Alfred. This has been Salt and Sanctuary. Uh, I can grab this level. Um, what I really want is... Oh, I have it. I have it. I didn't know. Yes. All right. Okay, cool. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Salt and Sanctuary. Um, thank you all for coming. This has been a very triumphant episode. I, I'm making good progress. I'm feeling good. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Everyone, have a good day. Bye.